Earlier this week, I made a video stating the top 10 things that I wish I knew before becoming a real estate agent and number one on my list was that it's really expensive. And it's true, becoming a real estate agent will drain your pockets and empty your bank accounts. Just kidding, I just wanted to be a little bit dramatic. But it really is expensive, especially if you're not anticipating those costs ahead of time. And if you're already looking into this career, then you've probably heard that it takes time before you can make any money in this business. So to put it in technical terms, you'll be at a deficit starting out. In this video, I'm gonna break down all of the costs associated with becoming a realtor one by one, including all of the hidden fees but before I do that if you would do me the small kindness of hitting that like button and making sure that you're subscribed to this channel it would really mean the world to me and would take absolutely no time from you welcome back I'm Haya Ali and I'm a realtor let's start with real estate school so to get your license you need to start off by passing a real estate course in almost all of the states those courses cost money and I've seen them range anywhere from $100 to $750 and if you search on Google what are the costs associated with becoming a real estate agent you'll see that these courses start at $250 but that's not not true. I myself paid $99 for my course. And these courses can be online or in person depending on what suits you best. But take it from me guys, go the cheapest route because at the end of the day you need to learn the same things whether you're paying $100 for the class or you're paying $700 for the class. It's the same content. How well you do in this course and whether or not you pass the state exam depends on you and your studying habits. Buying the more expensive classes won't guarantee anything. The course that I went through which was the cheapest that I found online and I highly recommend because I really think it's great. It's by Real Estate you and if you want to sign up for the course as well you can use the code NYS10 to get $10 off if you're from New York State or the code SAVE10 if you're not from New York State and you'll still get $10 off so instead of paying $99 you'll pay $89. Now your next step after passing the course is to sit for the state exam. In New York State the privilege of getting to sit for the state exam costs $15. Let's say you pass this exam congratulations now you need to pay a $65 application fee to apply for your license. This is after you've signed on with the brokerage. So that sums up the cost for you to get your license. Now let's look into how much it costs for you to maintain your license and to be able to work as a real estate agent. But before I do that, just a little reminder to hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to this channel. So the first cost after obtaining your license is all of your membership fees that you will have to pay. And these are really hefty fees. They come out to be about $1,500 a year. About half of that goes to your MLS fees, which is your membership into the multiple listings services. You can't do any Thing if you don't have the membership. You can't even book showings for your clients. And take it from me, do not be late in paying for these dues. I initially thought that if you didn't pay these dues on time, then you just won't be able to access the MLS itself. But you become really limited in what you're able to do as a real estate agent if you haven't paid on time. And if you're late, there is a $50 late fee on top of that. So it becomes even more expensive if you delay paying these fees. The other $750 is Western New York specific. So if you're from here, you need to pay a membership fee to be part of the BNAR, which is the Buffalo Niagara Association of Realtors. I believe agents in New York City and other parts of New York State don't have to pay this. So it is a little bit more expensive to be a real estate agent upstate. Next are your brokerage fees, which vary by brokerage, but typically you pay about $50 a month to be a member of your brokerage, and that $50 a month also pays for your liability insurance, which you must have as an independent contractor. On top of that monthly fee, you have to pay $20 in the Supra subscription, and this allows you to go into homes when you're showing to your clients. It's an app on your phone so, and you basically use the Bluetooth of this app to open the Supra lockbox which gives you the keys for the homes that you can show your clients and if you don't pay this $20 a month you're not able to show clients homes. Now you're all set to maintain your license and to be able to go into homes. After becoming a licensed salesperson the first thing your brokerage is going to recommend for you to do is get a headshot, a professional one at a studio. This will cost you about $125 but I am sure if you do your research there might be other studios that have discounts or might offer a a free day I've heard of that happening as well I myself opted out of the service and simply used a picture that I had that I thought would suffice after getting your headshot you're gonna want to order business cards and these on average will cost you about $70 of course again this number can vary depending on the quality of the business card and what company you go with but $70 is the average that I found that's not too expensive or too cheap and you can get a decent number of business cards with that amount now you're gonna need to buy some things in order to be prepared for a listing so when you're a listing agent that means you are putting a house on the market and when you put the house on the market you need to have that for sale sign on the yard this will cost you about $50 
$50 if we're going to be a little bit on the cheaper side. Of course, again, this is a range because you want to customize that for sale sign with your picture and your brokerage information. But we're going to stick with $50 because I think that's what you can get away with. And then you might want to host an open house for that house in order to market it and get buyers. So you're going to need open house signs and this will cost you about $80 for about 10 of them. So those are all of the costs that will get you started in the real estate career. Of course, there are other things like marketing yourself and posting advertisements will which will range anywhere from a few dollars a month to a few hundred dollars a month but that will be entirely up to you and they're not absolute necessities for maintaining your license and starting up your business so I did not include them in this video another thing to consider is you will need a computer or a laptop and also a printer but I'm not including those as well because many of us already have computers and laptops and you can go to your brokerage to use their printer. But if you need to add those costs yourself, feel free to do so and calculate how much you need to save up to become a real estate agent. That's all for today's video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and let me know if these numbers are what you expected.